forum will continue this afternoon at 3 p.m. sharp in this chamber with Leaders Dialogue 3 on Game Changers, applying science, technology, innovation, and data for transformative action. The meeting is adjourned. I would now like to turn to His Excellency Philip Pierre, Prime Minister of St. Lucia, who is also speaking as Chair of CARICOM. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, what does it mean to hold the pessimism of climate disaster and optimism of climate action together? CARICOM's ambitions in the face of this climate crisis are to safeguard our people, to develop sustainability and to thrive. But we will never be able to achieve these goals in the absence of robust ambition and deliverable action from those who have the means and the responsibility to change and correct the cause of this crisis. I thank you. The Assembly will now hear an address by His Excellency Philippe Joseph Pierre, Prime Minister, Minister for Finance, Economic Development and Youth Economy of St. Lucia. Mr. President, St. Lucia has come to the 70th session to say there must be justice in the relations between developed and developing countries and, there, and that we are no longer willing to come to this annual parade merely to lend our voice to support of this or that global conflict or to condemn whoever from year to year is the new global enemy. No powerful nation's global agenda is more important than our own. And we insist that our legitimate concerns be listened and be acted upon. Is there the political will to use these trillions of dollars to end starvation on and underdevelopment in the world and provide justice for reparations? Is there the political will to put people first and not weapons first? Is there the political will to develop trust and build a lasting peace that will rekindle our sustainable development goals and lead towards prosperity, progress, and sustainability for all? For the sake of us all and for future generations, we must find it. Mr. President, to quote St. Lucian born Nobel laureate, Honorable Derek Walcott, Hope is not a thing to be deferred, but a thing to be pursued with all hungry passion of our existence. I thank you.